Welcome back to WCDC Art. Follow along to draw this cute little bear with us. The supplies you'll need are watercolor paper, paint brushes, a paint palette, a pencil, and a permanent marker. You also need some watercolor paint, a few colors of acrylic paint, as well as cotton swabs. I have a few colors of acrylic paint as well as a watercolor palette. So our first step is going to be drawing out our bear image. So I have the reference image in the top left corner of this video and we will be using that to refer to. So first we're gonna start by drawing a big U shape in the center of our paper. This is gonna be the general shape of our bear. When we have his outline, we are going to work on his legs and feet. So we're just gonna go from the very bottom of our U shape, bring a little line in on either side, and then go up, over, and back down to create his legs. Next are his arms. I'm gonna start just above halfway of the big U shape, come out, go around, and come back in. And we can erase those lines later that we don't need. Next, we're gonna make the neck of his sweater. So just above his arms, make a slightly curved line, and for the bottom of his sweater, a curved line in the opposite direction. And then little armholes at the end of his arms. We're gonna put little half circle shapes on the top of his head for his ears. And next for his face, we're gonna make a circle in the center of his head for his snout, and then two lines coming down from the top. We're gonna do a little triangle for his nose, and then two curved lines for his mouth and then just two eyes on either side. To give our bear some claws, we're just gonna add four little lines to each foot and then each hand. And lastly, we're gonna give him a little belly just by drawing two vertical lines. Next, we can take our eraser and get rid of some of the lines that we don't need. So for our second step, we are going to grab our permanent marker and go over all of our pencil lines. When we get to the eyes and nose, we are gonna fill those in with the black marker. Our third step is to paint in our bear with our watercolor. So make sure you have your watercolor available with a cup of water and a paper towel. You can choose whatever color you'd like for this part. I'm gonna go with red and I'm going to paint in his leg shapes. I'm also gonna paint his hands that are peeking through his sweater red, as well as his head. So for this part, I'm gonna go over the permanent marker of his eyes. I'm gonna stay away from his snout and his nose, but I wanna make sure I get the large part of his ears also. Using orange watercolor, I'm going to paint in his belly, his snout, and the small inner parts of his ears. Our fourth step is where we will be needing our acrylic paints. To make the dots, we could either use the bottoms of different sized paintbrushes or even a Q-tip. So when it comes to the dots, I'm just gonna choose my first color, which is gonna be purple, and I'm just gonna randomly start placing dots on his sweater. You can put your dots in a pattern, you could do stripes, you can make some super tiny and then some dots super large. Just try to focus on one color before moving on to the next. The smaller paintbrushes are really good for when you're towards the end of filling in his sweater and you need to get little tiny dots to fill in some spaces. Using white acrylic paint, we can add a little dot in each eye to add some highlight. Using our permanent marker, we're gonna add a little bit of fur texture to his forehead. So to do this, I am just going to do some little dotted lines from the top of his head down to his nose. So next, we are gonna put our bear in a little bit of an environment. 
So I'm gonna give him a ground line. So right in between his legs, down by his feet, I'm gonna do a horizontal line and then the same thing on either side of his leg. Next, we'll add in some leaves and foliage. So on his right side, I'm just gonna do a little wavy line. And at the end of that wavy line, kind of like an almond shape for the leaf. And then I'm gonna go down that line and add little stems with little leaves. And I'm gonna do that same thing on the other side of the wavy line we made. And off on his left side, we're gonna do a similar thing, but kind of make this line a bit more angled downward at the end. And then the same thing with the leaf on the end and then the stems coming out. And I'm gonna add just a little three leaf stem up here. Now I think I wanna add a little bumblebee off to the right. So I'm just gonna make a tiny little oval to start. Then I'm gonna give him some details, like a little bumblebee stripe in the center of the oval, and then some heart-shaped wings up top. Then I'm gonna add a dotted line leading up to the bumblebee, just to show where he's been. And then I'm going to do a little mushroom at the bottom. So to do that, I'm just gonna start with a half circle shape, connect those two end lines together, and then make the mushroom stem, which gets wider towards the bottom and should be thinner underneath the mushroom cap. And then I'll connect those two lines and add in some black polka dots. Our last step is just to add in some color into our leaves, our mushroom, and our bumblebee. So I'm just gonna use green watercolor for all of my leaves. I'm gonna do, I think, the mushroom cap in red and the stem in yellow. So then I could just use that same yellow paint for my bumblebee. I hope you enjoyed this cute little video. Be sure to come back every Wednesday and Friday for more tutorials. Thanks for drawing with WCDC Art.